Hi guys, welcome back to World of Warships with El Nature Gamer. Today we are on the test server as the public test is currently live and we are going to be sailing in the German tier 8 battleship, the Bismarck. This is the fully upgraded um, equipment fit. I've spread out the crew skills to try and maximize secondary battery and anti-air capabilities. Um, turns out I do that and then I get into a match that doesn't have an aircraft carrier in it. But you never know we might get to shoot down some spotters. So start of the match heading over to the sea cap point seeing if we can get in there and get some damage done and at least see if we can look spectacular while doing it. And all the while, my daughter's chatting away in the background to herself. Not quite sure why the audio cut out for a little while in the middle of those sections, but we're there now. The spot is up. I'm going to take a few speculative shots at the Hindenburg in the distance. I know there's a destroyer up ahead somewhere, and I've just been spotted by all those ships when I fired. But. Uh, most of them are behind the islands, so they can't really get shots into me at the moment. And those weren't too bad, but the Hindenburg saw them coming a mile off and took evasive action. Right, so now. Well, I know there's a destroyer somewhere because I can see the sp spread of torpedoes up ahead. But I'm currently unspotted, so we'll continue moving over here. There's that cruiser up there. Battleship heading this way as well. To Got at least one more cruiser, maybe no two more cruisers heading this way on the map. And I know there's a destroyer up there because there is a smoke screen laid in the cap. And there he's just been spotted. So I'll just designate him with my secondaries in case I get in range. Bismarck's secondaries can be very deadly. Uh, couple of over penetrations there. A couple of thousand damage. Well, it's better than nothing. Let's just unload my rear turrets at the destroyer. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Four over penetrations, but meh. Damage is damage. He'd have been taken out by the torpedo anyway, but that's not the point. And oh, that's, they're coming at me. That's not good. That's a tier 9 battleship shooting at me. And, well, not too horrible, but I've had worse damage. And I'll take worse damage in this match still to come. Get a couple of hits there. Nothing major. He's turning away. Trying to angle. I'm reloading, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. Right, I'm going to turn my attention to the cruiser up ahead, the Hindenburg. A couple of shots out there. Rear turrets out as well. Let's see what we're going to do here. Oh, that was nice. Nice penetration there. And then I take a nasty hit in the side. Don't know whether that was a Citadel or just some decent penetrations. But that was the Azumo again, so... Almost reloaded. I'm tossing up whether to shoot at the Azumo or the Hindenburg, but I lob a broadside out of the Azumo. Uh, I know he's still pointing the guns at me. Oh, no, that's no good. He turned in, and oh, no, he's shooting at me, so. Slam on the brakes, turn towards, see if we can make any of these miss. Well, that could have been worse. If I'd stayed broadside on, that would have probably hurt a lot more. But now there's oh there's now quite a few over there. So Well that's a cruiser that's got torpedoes. And the Azimo's turned his guns away for the moment. So I'm gonna see what I can do about the cruiser. Uh, the Azimo's turned his guns back, but I am a bit more bow on, so I shouldn't take a huge amount of damage from him. 
Boom, here they come. Lob a couple of my four, four turrets at them anyway. Nah, that could have been worse, but I... No damage hit. Don't know what kind of hit it was, as I keep forgetting to enable the full... Um, full detailed ribbon at the top. But, that will certainly have made the cruiser think twice. And he's within secondary range, so they're starting to light him up. But three citadels. And then another one to finish him off. Full health cruiser deleted. So I'm going to try and... Oh, torpedoes. Let's... Ooh, 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 ooh. This is going to be close. There we go. WASD hacks activated. But anyway, I'm going to see what I can do to this Zemo while I close the range. If I can get to point blank range. And ooh, that was a nice hit. Over 11,000 damage. He's a tier higher than me. I've got some supporting fire coming in there. I'm taking a bit of a pounding from his secondaries. But mine are also lighting him up. Not doing a huge amount of damage probably, but he set me on fire, so I'll quickly repair that. And, oh no, I'm coming under fire from the side now as well. Now I was planning to get up close, then peel away to starboard and light him up close range with all my guns and hopefully get citadels. But I'm coming under fire from at least three other ships, as well as him. One's a battleship. No, four ships. No. Right, that's it. If I'm going out, I'm taking him with me. Ramming speed. Very honorable. Totally worth it. Tier 8 for a tier 9. Completely worth it. Anyway. While we watch these two majestic ships sink, let's jump to the results and see what happens at the end of the match. So yeah, that was a victory. Came out, since this is one of the first times, I think it's the second time I've sailed this, 105,000 damage, which isn't bad. Sank two, one of which was a tier nine battleship. And did 82,000 main battery damage. And 21,000 ramming damage, which is always good. And I sank a tier 9 cruiser and a tier 9 battleship. And came out with a premium account, 186,000 credits. So, that's not bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It was just a quick look at the Bismarck there. We'll try and do another video while the test server's up. And hopefully I'll unlock it myself soon. But I hope you enjoyed it. Keep playing whatever you're playing. And I'll catch you next time.